parachute every time that I go flying. You say you see me smoke with a who really lying. Smoke a button to the bottom, light up a new one. My weed is like legs, homie. I cannot just do one. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley, and this is Certified Piehead. I'm smoking on one of my uh, morning spliffs. You know what we about to do, Bird Club. We about to jump into these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory revolves around the painting of the Mona Lisa. Picture this. Da Vinci and the Mona Lisa chilling in his studio, puffing away on the joint while he works on his latest masterpiece. Hey, Mona, what do you think? He acts, stepping back from the canvas paint brushing hands she just smiles back at him calm and serene as if to say dude it's perfect pass that over here you see Leonardo wasn't just any artist he was the michelangelo of rolling paper i mean what other reason would he have for painting the mona lisa's mysterious grin that smirk could only come from someone who's just finished a particularly particularly is not nowhere near particularly potent bow of renaissance reefer honestly can you blame him the guy was working in the 1500s no netflix no tiktok just a bunch of really enthusiastic artists trying to paint ceilings maybe da vinci didn't invent the helicopter he just wanted a snack and thought the easiest way to fly over to the kitchen line was in the flying machine here's a riddle for you i start out sharp but with each use i dull in vivid shades of graphite I'm never null. With just a bit of pressure, your ideals I'll trace. What am I with a wooden face? Let's take a look at those half lidded eyes. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, but what if they're also windows to being really chill? I can just imagine Mona gazing at Da Vinci with those dreamy, half closed peepers, thinking, Wow, this room feels kind of hazy, right? Or is it just me? It's like she just came off a two-hour Netflix binge with more paint and fewer questionable plot twists. Imagine walking into Da Vinci's studio, air thick with fresh oil paints and something a little extra. Maybe Mona wasn't just smiling because she was sitting for a portrait. Maybe she was vibing, enjoying the tunes Da Vinci was softly humming while he worked. You know, the kind of buzz where everything feels calm and you're just there enjoying the moment that's the mona lisa vibe she might think with the serenity of a yoga instructor after a successful session those half lidded eyes aren't just the result of renaissance technique they're the universal signal of i just had a great session and now i'm thinking about pizza here's another riddle for you i have a handle bristles and a will with every stroke i bring your canvas thrill from landscapes to portraits I bring them out in oil or acrylic. What am I about? Now, what about that slight curve to her lips? It's like she just about to say something hilarious, but she's too stoned to remember the punchline. You know that look, the one you get when you're holding back laughter after your friends tells you a ridiculous story while you're both getting high? Maybe she's not pondering the mysteries of life. Maybe she's thinking about how good a snack would be right now. I mean, you can't tell me Mona Lisa doesn't look like someone who's contemplating a bowl of Renaissance era grapes or some warm, freshly baked bread. In fact, that smile could be Da Vinci's personal inside joke. Like, yeah, we had some good times. I'll catch that in this post session bliss forever. It's a relatable look. We've all been there. The Mona Lisa smile isn't about some hidden artistic genius, it's about remembering that you have a secret stash of snacks waiting for you after the painting session here's another riddle for you you twist or click i'm full of ink and ball or felt i made you think on sketch pads or doodles i glide with grace what am i with a scribbling pace can we take a moment to talk about the fact that the mona lisa has been hanging out in the loo for centuries you know she's seen some stuff hey mona what do you think about that guy with the great mustache smile says it all i'd give him a solid meh it's only after i finish the delicious piece of artisanal cheese the Mona lisa has witnessed every fashion trend and has possibly said dude is that what people are wearing now back in my day you wore drapes and ate grapes come on fashion puppy. the Mona lisa isn't just a painting she's a stylish icon i'm secretly judging 
your wardrobe for 500 years ago. Here's another riddle for you. I keep your drawings from running away. Press me down and your lines will stay. On paper, I grip, hold fast, and not flee. Without me, a canvas just wouldn't be. What am I? And just imagine the kind of chaos that would ensue if Da Vinci had decided to throw a paint and puff party. Bring your canvas, your creativity, and maybe a little something green to share. It'd be like a modern day art class, but instead of acrylics and watercolors, you'd have brushes dipped in something a little more psychedelic. Can you picture the scene? Da Vinci giggling over his easel saying, You know, it would look great. A giant flying turtle. Meanwhile, Mona's just sitting there. Totally, let's call it turtle. A masterpiece is bored is somewhere. Vincent Van Gogh is flipping over in his grave, wondering why nobody ever invited him to a real art. The Mona Lisa smile, it's not mysterious. It's the universal look of someone who's enjoying their buzz and just waiting for their favorite song to come on. Now let's buckle up our walking shoes and try to make it over this part of the hill. Maybe Da Vinci wasn't just a brilliant artist. He was also a connoisseur of creativity enhancing herbs. Could it be that he found the perfect strain to boost his inspiration? It's not a stretch to think that a little herbal inspiration might have helped him paint a masterpiece that we're still talking about centuries later. Da Vinci was already a master of blending science and art, so why not throw a little cannabis into the mix perhaps that gentle haze wasn't just in the background of his painting it was also in the studio itself influenced every stroke every color every layer of mona lisa's enigmatic expression enigmatic we did that one we did that one with no problems da vinci didn't just master perspective he mastered the art of balancing creativity with the perfect high the mona lisa isn't just a painting it's the ultimate session in art history so what do you think people was the mona lisa more than just a painting was it a picture was it a portrait of history's most famous smoke sesh where da vinci and mona lisa the ultimate art duo share laugh snacks and a little something green or were they just two artists who got lost in the creativity haze of their time well thanks for sure the secret behind that smile is a blend of friendship creativity and the high art of good time the answers to the riddles pencil paintbrush pen tape i'll see y'all on the next one bro